might have taken the fuse out, and it's got no power. As it's telling us P0010 and 20, which is uh, no power. So this is telling me. It's quite and possible. So what happens when you buy a car that's in boxes that's completely non-standard? Who knows what you're getting into? I still have no idea if there's power on it. No, we don't. There. Blown? It's good. Blown. It's blown? It's blown. That's that good. explains it. That's a good thing and a bad thing. Good <laughs> thing if we put it in, it works. Bad thing if we put it back and it blows. <laughs> it blows again. screwdriver, cut the blade off, and jam it in that yeah. slot. So my two might go to a four. Oh, you're at a four now? How long did it run for? It didn't run. It, it ran if you gave it a bit of boot and, you know, sounded good and chucked some stuff out back, but yeah, it's it's so basically saying that it's getting no power to the cam. So noise. To the VDTs and fuse. Oh, Either you know blue or was blue. Right, oh. They're running. They're running the pump off of that same fuse. All right, what pump? The coolant for the booster. So the coolant's probably like 20 amp pump, 15 20 amp pump. That's why. That, as soon as I plug it in, it started going. Oh, well, that's good. We'll give it a shot. It's still going now. Check both sides. Get on the gas right now. It wants to try and inject, uh, and it's not. So it's running too lean. So I gotta try and figure that out and see what we can do next. But at least we got it running. It's idling. Just gotta play around with the file and go from there. Episode five and a half, Project Super Vantage. It runs. So my score went to ten. Fine. <laughs> Hopefully hey, this is an easy fix. You know, you know what they say, it's better to be an optometrist than a pessimist. It runs now. All we have to do is disable EGR. We have to disable secondary air. 
Um, the file didn't have it done. I, I didn't do the file, so I had to look and see what was done in it. So I figured that out, and then we had map sensor issues, and map sensors on this engine is actually the EGR. So we had to, just had to disable the codes for that for now. I'll code it out later, more in depth. And, I mean, she runs. I mean, hear this. Idols. Revs. Right now it's good. There's no misfire corrections learned, so the fuel isn't cutting like it should. But, for right now... Right now it works. So, next plan is we're going to try and take it out. We don't have a plate on the car. And in BC, it's kind of, uh, we need a plate and they got shop insurance and whatnot, so it's all right. But um, yeah, we're just gonna figure out where we're gonna take it. Might take it to the airport where we usually do some testing. And if so, we can see how good these 20 year old tires are on the car with 10 year old fuel. Um, we're not gonna try and beat on it or anything because we've got no real good knock correction, but see it, take it out, see what it is.